G'day there, ambitious founders and marketers. I'm just back from a couple of weeks breaks. So I've been offline for a couple of weeks with the family and I've forgotten the importance of taking time out to rest and reset. It was a much needed break after a full on first half of the year. Now work, while work takes up a large proportion of my life, family, quality time, a quality family time is a must to turn up and be your best for your business. So speaking of work today, I wanted to dive deeply into a topic that keeps us all on our toes, which is the fascinating world of cost per clicks or CPC trends. But here's a twist, we're gonna unpack how these trends vary across different industries. So listen up and let's kick things off with a bird's eye view. Now in Australia, we've seen the average Google Ads CPC bounce from $3.50 in 2019 to 320 last year. But don't be fooled by that apparent drop, we were hit by a $4.05 click by 2022. Now here's where it gets juicy. Not all industries are created equal in the CPC game. Remember that $3.20 average? Well, if you're a high demand industry like finance or legal services, you're likely seeing numbers that will make your eyes water. Now let's break it down. Number one is the finance industry. Now if you're in finance, you're probably nodding your head right now. I would say your CPCs are typically amongst the highest across all industries. Now, why is that? It's because in finance, a single conversion can mean big bucks. So advertisers are willing to pay premium prices for those clicks. Number two is legal services. Lawyers, listen up. You're in a similar boat to our finance friends. Legal services consistently see higher than average CPCs. And when potential clients are searching for legal help, the competition for their attention is fierce. Third, insurance, another big player in the high CPC game with the value of each lead being so high, insurance companies are often willing to shell out top dollar um, for their clicks. Some good news though, e-commerce, here's a bit of good news. If you're selling products online, e-commerce generally sees lower CPCs compared to service-based industries. But remember, obviously during peak seasons like holidays, you might see these costs spike. Number five is B2B services. Now, if you're in the B2B space, you're likely seeing CPCs that are higher than average, but not quite as steep as uh, finance or legal. And it's the longer sales cycles in B2B that often justify the higher spend. So what does that mean for you as a business? business leader or a marketer means that benchmarking your CPC against the overall average might not be telling you the whole story. You actually need to be looking at industry specific data to truly gauge your performance. But here's the kicker, pay attention because this is your aha moment. Now a high CPC doesn't necessarily mean a bad ROI. It's all about the value that, of that click to your business. A $10 CPC might be a bargain if it consistently brings in $1,000 in revenue. Now let's talk strategy. How can you navigate these industry-specific CPC variations? Firstly, you wanna focus on quality score. Google rewards relevance. The more relevant your ads and landing pages, the less you're gonna pay per click. Now this is true across all industries. Secondly is long tail keywords. In high cost industries, consider targeting more specific long tail keywords. They often have lower competition and costs. Thirdly is platform diversification. Don't put all your eggs in the Google basket. Bing ads typically have lower CPCs and for B2C businesses, don't overlook the potential, obviously, of social media advertising. Fourth is ad schedule optimization. Analyze when your ads perform best and adjust your ad schedule accordingly. This can help avoid um, you avoid bidding wars during peak times. And five is audience targeting. The more targeted your audience, the more likely each click will be valuable, justifying a higher CPC if necessary. Now remember the goal isn't always to get the lowest CPC, it's to get the best return on your ad spend. And sometimes paying a little bit more for quality traffic is actually the smartest move you can make. So to wrap up, here's a call to action. Take a deep dive into your industry's CPC benchmarks. Now, are you above or below or your average? And more importantly, how's your ROI looking? Share your experiences in the comments below. Are you in a high CPC industry? How are you adapting? I'm Simon Gould with Sydney Digital Marketing. Digital marketing for ambitious brands. I'll see you next time.